Welcome. In a previous video, I went over the procedure to install the Ubiquiti Unified Controller on a Docker container on a Synology NAS. So now if I log into that Unified Controller, you'll see there's this controller software update available. So uh, to go over to update this, what I'll do is first thing I'll do is go down to the uh, three dots in the bottom and click settings. And I will click on maintenance. I'll scroll down and click maintenance. And then I'll scroll down here a bit and I'll click uh, download backup. So that will download the backup here to my downloads folder. And then I have the same website, this uh, Mike Tabor's blog on installing the Docker. So we'll run through these same instructions here. I'll open up a new terminal and I'll SSH into my Synology NAS. I'll run this command to load the latest version. Okay. Then I'll go and I'll take this command here and copy it and paste it in here. And you'll see it conflicts because we already have a controller here. So I'll go to the Docker and I'll go to container and I'll click this and I'll go to action here and I'll say stop. And I'll click on this and I'll click edit and I'll change the name to unified controller old and I'll hit apply. I'll do dash old and then I'll hit apply. And I'll go back to my terminal and then I'll run this command again. And now we have the controller up and running. And I'll go back to my web interface here and I'll hit refresh. It says the unified controller is starting up. Wait a moment. It says data migrations in effect, database update in progress. Okay, now we have the login screen so we can log back in. And it says, welcome back, here's what's new. And it says version 5, 10, 17. And it has all the new features on it. So I'll close this. And you'll see the message is gone here. We can go down to settings again and maintenance. And we'll see here we're on 5, 10, 17. So we're on the latest build here. So if this had failed, you'd probably want to wipe everything out and then you could re-upload using that backup you made. But otherwise this will uh, update. So it's a pretty seamless process. Um, probably the best thing to do would be to name this with the version. But I just named the old one old and then this one could be deleted now. I may leave it here for a day just to make sure everything's up and running and then I'll delete it uh, when I'm finished. So. So that's the procedure for updating the Unify controller in a Docker, um, if you used my previous instructions on creating it. Um, so if you have any questions, please leave those in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.